media addiction. There are so many different types of electronic media around us. We use our smartphones and tablets to keep in touch with friends, check the news, or simply entertain ourselves. And we can carry these devices around with us all day. There are those of us who use media devices too much. Many people suffer from media addiction and spend hours on the internet every day. Although they can be useful research tools, most students use their devices for entertainment or to chat online. The more hours they spend playing games online, sending emails and chatting, the less time they have for schoolwork. If you think you have a media addiction, here are a few suggestions on how to stop it. Set a time limit. One of the best ways to control your media addiction is to record how much time you spend online. This way, you will see how much time you waste each day online when you could be doing other things. Setting a time limit, such as giving yourself an hour a day to use any type of electronic media for entertainment, will immediately help stop your media addiction. Get a hobby. Nowadays, there are so many different activities you can do. So why sit in front of a screen when you can play basketball with your friends? In addition, spending too much time on the computer probably means you are not getting enough exercise. This can cause obesity. Getting a new hobby such as participating in team sports, joining a chess club or even enrolling for art classes will have immediate results. You will feel better about yourself because you achieved something or learned a new skill. Friends and family. The more time a person spends online watching TV or surfing the net, the less time they spend with family and friends. While electronic media are useful for catching up with people who live far away, networking and chatting with friends online can never replace the benefits of meeting people in the real world. Once you are out and about, you will realize that talking to people face to face is much more fun than over the internet. Although social media are a big part of a team's life, it is important to try to use it as little as possible. That way you can make time for schoolwork, hobbies and face-to-face -face time with family and friends.